Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and today we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Skeleton Outlaw. He looks kind of cool, so I thought I'd check him out. So the asset itself, the quality, is not too bad. It's quite nice, uh, but it's one of those assets where if you zoom in, it is very muddy. So I kind of get the feeling these are more geared towards possible mobile development, but that doesn't mean to say that you can't use them for PC or console. Uh, a little bit of modification, you could make it look even better. But overall, they look really, really nice, and I think they would suit pretty much that style of game if you were going for it, i.e. a fantasy or RPG style. Now, quantity-wise, we get a fair amount here. It does describe it as skeleton, and there is only one skeleton there, but we do indeed get a couple of different models. So we get this guy and this guy right here, both holding the axe. So obviously we get uh, this demo scene, which is always good to see. Uh, we get all these animations, which is always good. Uh, materials, prefabs, and we get the source, which is basically just the FBX, and the textures as well. And this is what you could maybe modify in Photoshop or something to give it a bit more vibrant look. Or you could always just turn on a bit of post-processing and see what you come up with. So quality, brilliant, quantity, there's enough here. Uh, extras, I would say, yeah, you could class this guy as an extra, uh, maybe with all the animations as well. So there's plenty to use here. So how versatile are they? Well, the good thing is they come with animations attached. So you can see, yeah, they're quite nice. So they go through the routine of all their animations and they're really, really good. I love how these are animated. Just look at them. All the animations you would need to get everything working correctly. So they are versatile and they are easily modifiable. So if we go to the material, for example, and we could change the material uh, shader to, let's go to, I don't know, what do we want? Let's go to standard now. And let's change the source to albedo and then let's increase the metallic look and decrease smoothness. And now they look really, well, dingy. Look at that. So you can see just by playing around with some of these settings, it becomes a lot more customizable. And I guess it also depends on how much you want to play around with this. For example, you could take the texture itself, change it into a normal map, uh, whether you want grayscale or not, and then apply that to the material itself. And that is why this becomes so customizable, because there is so much you can do just by a couple of different clicks to make them look so much more gritty and grotty. So turning it from this into this just took a couple of seconds. And that is why I like assets that you can customize yourself in this sense. And I always recommend customizing them. So how useful are these going to be in anything you use? Well, they're obviously designed to be more of a fantasy style rather than a serious and realistic nature. But that doesn't mean to say you can't mix and match those different styles because you absolutely can. Now, I would personally see these in kind of an RPG or maybe a cartoony style version of a Souls game or something like that. Um, I think they would fit in quite well most of the time. It just depends on what you would want. But obviously, I don't think you'd have this in a very realistic game. Uh, I don't think it would suit it very well at all, but who knows? So folders all neatly laid out. Always good to see. Let's just uh, see what that looks like. I've just modified the uh, axe there. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, always good to see demo scene. Always good to see folders neatly laid out. And yeah, overall, I think it's a really good asset. So as you guys know, I don't uh, rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. And I would recommend this. Although at first glance, it looks rather low quality. I don't think it is. I think it's actually really nice. Given uh, a bit of effort, a bit of, you know, sticking to it and modifying it, you can actually make it look really, really good as we have done right here. I think it just depends entirely on your personal preference. So yeah, I would recommend this if you're creating a game which could use this style of enemy. It's a really, really good asset. It's really nice and easy to use. So guys, have you used this asset yourself? If you have, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. If you like the asset, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down, but tell me why you don't like the asset. Developers are always keen to know what could be improved in some of these assets. If you've got something on the asset store yourself, let me know. I'd love to check it out and possibly review it in one of these videos. 
Finally, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on that bell icon as well. And you can stay up to date with everything I upload to my channel on video game development because there's always something for you to learn here. So until the next video, guys, thank you very much for watching.